I am Walter Feit. Just a little bit about my background. I used to be an evolutionist, professor of zoology. We are honored and delighted to have Dr. Veith with us as a speaker. Um, for those of you who do not know Dr. Veith, he is a world-renowned scientist, lecturer, and author. He has a doctorate in zoology and has authored a number of books. Dr. Veith has lectured to standing room only crowds around the world um, on findings in science, nutrition, and disease. Question. What causes the high cholesterol? Is it the fat in the milk or is it the protein in the milk? So how do you test that? Obviously, we'll say, well, obviously it must be the fat in the milk, but not necessarily. You see, there are always two sides to a story. The fat is the one that will cause the problem, but the protein is the one that carries the fat to where it has to be. So it can be in either. So how do we test that? Well, you take the fat out and you use only the protein. So here's another one. We first looked at bad versus good cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, much better in the soy, supersonically better in the soy than in the milk solid. And HDL cholesterol, that's good cholesterol, when we fed them soy, that was much better than on the milk solids. So the ratio gets better, better once you start using the plant products. And that's what you want to look at, HDL versus LDL, good versus bad cholesterol. On soy, the ratio was excellent. On milk solids, the ratio was pathetic. Interesting. Now, let's go to the casein. Let's cut out the fat. Cholesterol levels. Soy, low. Casein, high. Now, there's no fat. There's no fat and no added cholesterol. HDL, LDL, casein, poor. Soy, good. So now, I had a question earlier. What's better? Skim milk or full cream milk. Let's have a look here. Let's run through this. We did it yesterday, but we'll be a bit more specific. Rabbits on an animal-based protein will have high cholesterol. Rabbits on a plant-based protein will have low cholesterol. And these were the proteins. Do you remember them? Plants and pork and chicken and beef and whole eggs and casein and turkey and skim milk and egg yolk protein. Now have a look here. Plant proteins give you the lowest cholesterol. Then the animal proteins give you high. Casein by itself gives you very high cholesterol levels. Just by itself, without any other fat added. And then we come to skim milk protein. Look at that. It's the second highest cholesterol elevating protein in the world after egg yolk. So now, if they tell you, change from full cream to skim milk, will it help, yes or no? Not one iota. Because the problem is not only in the fat, the problem is also in the protein. And because the protein is one of the worst in terms of cholesterol elevation, the best thing to do is never to use this protein at all. So chuck away this product. And which milk should you use? You can use any, any one that comes from a plant protein. You can use soy milk. You can use rice milk. You can use uh, oat milk. You can use combinations of those. There are nut milks and all kinds of marvelous things that you can make to suit your palate. And you don't have to suffer with these things. And this is the sad state of the blood vessels after a few months. Here's the main artery of one that received maize legume. Perfect. By the way, they didn't only get maize legume. Okay? They got everything else that a monkey eats. It's fruits and everything else. Just a little ball of food, the energy food, was maize legume. A small part of the diet. So they didn't only get that. They had fruits and veggies and everything they wanted to eat as well that monkeys eat. And this is what it looked like. Perfectly squeaky clean blood vessel when they had 
maize legume. Look at the little side vessels. All the little openings are perfectly open. There's no clogging of the arteries. The same time period, one that got milk. Look at that. All this fat deposit in there. All the arteries partly clogged. This is a terrible situation. And then to, just to show you the histology, that's a cross-section of one that received maize legume. There's no fat deposition in that blood vessel. It's squeaky clean. Look at this guy. Look at that huge amount of fat deposit over there. That's plaque development. All this over here, plaque development. And look at this. This was a calcium deposition. So it couldn't get rid of all the calcium it had deposited in the blood vessels. So these blood vessels were brittle and they were full of cholesterol. And that's dairy for you. Dairy products are a no-no.